What's good? What's good? This is your host, Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Huh? Today's episode My girlfriend will not give me some kitty cat. I got an email from the homie Ronnie coming out of Oregon. Shout out to Portland, Oregon. He writes, Swag, I've been with my girlfriend for one year and eight months, going on two years. These last couple of months, she's been acting very distant. We haven't been intimate in a while. I did what you told me to do as far as always checking her phone. I check her phone periodically without her knowing. I found no evidence of her cheating. She works at Best Buy. I have my friend who also works at Best Buy spy on her. He even confirmed she isn't doing anything with any other guys. He says she don't have no male friends. She says she don't have no work boos. When I confront her and ask her why isn't she intimate with me, she just says she's not in the mood. She doesn't feel like it. What do you think I should do in this situation? Should I work with her? Should I be patient? Or should I just call it quits and end the relationship? This right here is bothering me. Please let me know. All right, so check this out, man. Check this out, man. So you got to understand something. When you're in a relationship, you're the dictator. You dictate. A relationship ain't no, oh, I don't feel like doing this. I do this when I want to do it. Oh, 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 if I don't feel like doing it, I ain't doing it. See, here, here's the thing. A woman shouldn't be allowed to not fulfill her womanly duties and then expect you to still fulfill your manly duties. That isn't fair to you, is it, Ronnie? Now, Ronnie, I don't know what she's going through. But all I'm saying, if, if that's me, and my girl ain't taking care of me the way she's supposed to, it's over. It's over. I'm done with it. I, look, 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 listen, listen, listen. I'll be like, look, since, since you can't take care of me, I'm since you can't handle your business with me, I'm going to find somebody else that will. That's what you need to do. All that working it out, it, listen, it ain't that complicated. It ain't that complicated. Leave her alone. See, that's why I be talking about what y'all do. Y'all be too scared to walk away. Can't you just walk away? Why can't you just walk away and just keep it moving? See, she knows you scared to walk away. See, shut this out. Ronnie, the longer you stay in this relationship with this type of situation going on, your woman is going to lose respect for you every day. Every day, your woman will lose respect for you. This could be a way of her testing you. This could be a way of testing to see how much you really care about her, how much you really love her. And I know you probably thinking, well, look, this my girl. I'm a sacrifice for her. She, you probably like, yo, this my girl. I'm gonna show her that I'm the man that I'm the man that she wants me to be. You thinking that you not going? You think about you thinking that you going this long without getting something from your girl, you thinking that that's like a badge of honor. You thinking that that's going to allow, you think that's, that's going to help her respect you more. She's losing respect for you. This relationship should have been over. This relationship should have been over after two weeks. Y'all ain't been intimate. You got to, you got to remember some intimacy is a big part in a relationship. And if she's not doing her job, it's over. I'm sorry. I'm not staying around for that. I'm a man of value. I'm not staying around for that. And she still want me to take care of her. She still want me to protect her, to provide for her, do everything a man's supposed to do. And she and she she can't at least do that. Okay, she ain't gotta do that. She ain't she ain't gotta she ain't gotta get in the bed with you and you ain't gotta stay in this relationship with her. You got options. The only one that's utilizing and exercising her options is her. You ain't exercising your option. You always got the option to leave. You ain't leaving. You want to stay and be, and you want to stay and let her punish you more and more. You 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 must enjoy the punishment. 
you 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 must like being humiliated. Ain't no way in the world a girl gonna do that to me, and I'll be cool with it. You don't want to do what I tell you to do? Fine, I'm out. You don't want to do what I tell you to do? Fine, this relationship is over. Relationship, it, it takes two to have one relationship. It takes two. Her not doing her womanly duties for me is a nice way of her saying she don't want to deal with me no more. And I respect that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with getting out of her life. I'm cool with walking away. Will I feel some type of way? Absolutely. Will I be disappointed? Absolutely. If that's my girl and I care about her, absolutely. I'm not saying I'm going to walk away and not feel nothing about it. But check this out. Like I told you before, I'm gonna say it. I said it once. I'm gonna say it again. I, I'm I'm always gonna love myself more than I love some uh, another woman. I'm always gonna love me more than I love her. The question is, do you love you more than you love her? I don't think you do, cause right now you're showing that you love her more than you love yourself. You willing to put yourself through this type of treatment? You willing to put yourself through this type of behavior and you've done nothing wrong. So in closing, Ronnie, I don't know what's going on with your girl, but all I'm going to say that it's time for a new girl. And that was today's episode of Like, Comment, Subscribe. <laughs> and I'm going to catch you on the next go around, my nigga. Hello.